Hey everyone, I'm back with another practice routine that's based on building confidence with the black. But there's more to it than putting blacks off the spot, although I'm not going to lie, that's a pretty significant part of it. But stick around to find out exactly what's involved in this routine, as well as see my first attempt and modifiers which will both make it harder if you're an advanced player and super easy if you're just starting out with snooker. To set the table up, simply put a red on every spot with the exception of the black spot. So just like I'm doing here, hurry up, man. I'm taking my time, aren't I? I've even got a yellow up. I've got a yellow up because the, the balls are stuck in the pocket, as usual. I've probably done a, some kind of, uh, probably any order lineup routine to warm up, so I tend to favour putting in the middle pocket on those, so the middle pocket is probably full. Yeah, so red on every spot apart from the black, and then the black on its spot, just like that. The idea of this routine is super easy. Starting with the cue ball anywhere on the left hand side of the table as we look at it, you need to put a red followed by the black. Now you can do them in any order, but I always start with the red on the pink spot, then the blue spot, then the green spot, then the brown spot, then the yellow spot when I'm working on this side of the table. Now I play the default difficulty of this routine, which means if I miss the red, or rather I don't pot the red, I can play the red again. But if I pot the red, no matter where I finish, I have to play the black from there. And if I don't pot the black, I don't get a point. So obviously the key to this routine is getting position from the red to the black. But even if you don't get a good position and you end up potting the red, it's good practice at potting the black from slightly loose positional shots, which, you know, let's face it, in at my level is quite common. Now, if you really want a more challenging version of this and you find the default version too easy, then simply don't allow yourself to re-spot the cue ball if you miss the red. That might actually not be that much of a challenge because to be honest, with, with ball in hand, you can put the cue ball wherever you like. So really, uh, a good player should be getting this routine done almost every time. But if you're really at the beginning of your snooker journey and you want a, a modifier to make it super easy to really build confidence, then why don't you simply not play the black until you're happy with the positional shot? Now, maybe don't go on forever with until you get the perfect position because at some point you will probably get the perfect position but maybe give yourself three shots or three successful pots on the red mark the position where the white lands on all three and then maybe pick the best one that's one way of doing it anyway let's take a look at my first attempt at the medium difficulty so i tend to start off with a fairly rudimentary run through on this uh, red on the pink spot just a little bit of top just above center just to run through on the black but I've probably run through a good sort of six inches more than I wanted to. But still, this is a pot on the black spot I should be getting more often than not. So hopefully I can net this one as well. But unfortunately not, I was quite a way off that one. I don't know why I played it so hard. I didn't need to get position on the next red. Uh, this one I play slightly high and then try and stun down just behind the black, uh, which play pretty well, actually. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Don't necessarily have to come off the cushion like I did, but that's what I did. So I say no heroics with the black, just rolling it in. There we go. So that's one out of 10. Uh, this one, play sort of a half ball red and try and come off two cushions in behind the black. Something like that. Could have done with just hitting it a little harder maybe or a bit more right-hand side, but that's basically what I was going for. Get my hand on the table nicely, so yeah, another just roll it in. Oh, but no, no good. Yeah, disappointed with that one really. That was uh, that was one I should be getting. Similar shot here then. A uh, bit more stun on this one. Yeah, trying to just come off the one cushion this time. But I missed the red. So this is an example where I can replace the red and it doesn't cost me anything because I'm playing on the medium difficulty setting, if you like. Now, do I play it the same way or do I play it... Yeah, I'm playing it a little bit more... Uh, center ball off two cushions this time but I don't hit it hard enough I think the first way was the shot but obviously I missed the red so I left myself this pretty high black it's a bit of a stretch seems like a low value or a low likely shot 
but I managed to get that one down quite nicely. So we're up to two out of 10. Last shot on this side of the table. Just giving myself a bit more angle. So this one, play a little bit thinner and again, just sort of run off two cushions down. Oh no, I'm playing it as a stun shot. That's how I, not how I normally play it, I must admit. I've done about two or three attempts since this, this one was filmed. So um, yeah. Yeah, shrugging my shoulder there, left myself this one. I potted the red, so I have to play it. Uh, and uh, yeah, tricky one along the cushion, um, didn't work. Well, not such a great start from me this time, but still time to redeem myself because as you guessed it, once you've finished from the left-hand side of the table, you simply set the balls up again and do the same thing with the cue ball on the right-hand side of the table. So let's see how I get on from this side. So this first shot, contrary to what I said in the first part of the routine, where I play a slow run through, I'm going to actually play this one differently. and I'm going to play a stun shot down to the black. Let's see how that works out. Uh, it works out pretty nicely. Maybe a bit more, a bit bigger a gap between white and black than I would have liked, but Still, it's pretty straight, so I should be able to just roll it in. Ooh, you thought about it, but it went. Uh, so this shot is exactly the same as I played on the other side of the table, just slightly high on the reg on the blue spot, and then stunned down the table. Uh, get a little bit too much screw on it, though. And uh, managed to finish a bit lower and closer to the right cushion than is obviously ideal, but I played the red, so I've got to play it. Yep, I'm pretty happy with that one. I'm always, I always struggle with those that are slightly, um, where I'm slightly lower on the black, and especially when there's distance. Yeah, especially when I'm either very close to the black or when, I'm, when I've got a bit of distance between the black and the cue ball. So I missed that red, so I can play it again. So again, stunning down off two cushions. Playing it with uh, left hand side, but. Not enough side, I don't think. Not enough stone, no side, maybe. So, tried to uh, steer that one in there. Bit of a stretch. Didn't work out. Uh, so, this one. Uh, playing this. Oh, yeah, that didn't work out either. Needed, I don't know, needed to play that differently. But I put in the red so I don't get no chance. And again, I play a pretty tricky cut from very high on the black and managed to get the black in. So pretty happy with that one. So I kind of get on the black here and make it six out of ten. Mm. Well, it's pretty similar to the last shot. Got to play it though, I got the red in. Can I get this put in? No, I overcut it by quite a margin. So only five out of 10 for my first attempt, which is something to build on for next time. So it hopefully means that there will, there'll be another one of these videos along soon where I beat my previous best, but also it's not a completely terrible start. I'm sure there's a lot of you that could do better though. So let me know in the comments how you do if you get to try this routine. Don't forget to drop the video a like if you're still here. And if you're watching this without being a subscriber, why don't you go ahead and subscribe to the channel? It's completely free and it's by far the best way of keeping up with my snooker journey. There is a subscribe link right here, but if you don't want to do it right now, you can visit my channel page at any time and subscribe from there, and as well as get access to my entire back catalogue of over 150 videos at this point. I've just started season two of my lineup journey, which is my long-term series of me trying to get to a full 15 red lineup clearance. I'm on a seven red lineup at the moment, and you can catch up with episode one of season two by clicking this video right here. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video, which will be up in a couple of days' time. Thanks for watching.